Oh, look who it is. They arrived a little late, but they arrived. There's a couple of them are alive. Not too many. Enemy running 10 out of 10. And occasionally warm heartedly sparing them when they're cute enough. What is this, a talking female character? <laughs> what show am I watching? Yeah, they could really use some backup. It's gonna be awesome if they arrive during this fight. Right, he attacked the arm and. Maybe it was a cliffhanger, but it looked like he couldn't make a dent. If your water form isn't cutting it, what do you even have left? Come on, Tanjiro. Give me that strength. And Inosuke, give me those abs. There she is. Butterfly lady. Haven't met this guy yet, I don't think. Other than that, the intro is looking pretty familiar at this point. What's she up to? <laughs> She's in her box for now. Episode 18, a forged bond. A lot of people forging bonds right now. Oh, it actually it cut. Still, though, that's some amazing resistance. High defense stat. You know that water. Nice! I feel like the last couple episodes are so key in like developing this forged bond. They feel united in a very interesting way. <laughs> and he just took that personally. Damn, he's, he got skipped. Yeah, he's been like living with these injuries for a minute. Very human of him to admit that he's not immortal. <laughs> That was impressive water running, just saying. <laughs> There's gotta be a- Jesus. There's gotta be a form in there somewhere. That's what I was gonna say before he sliced that tree like it was butter. Hit him with this tree! I don't know why I'm like so amazed by the water effects. It's so pretty. And he takes the time to look out for his friend. And they are friends now. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Does it help that we're in- in water? I'm just brainstorming here. I'm trying to help. <laughs> you got all these water forms. We're in water. Seems only natural. Oh, the most- Wait, what? Have you seen this before? Yeah, we all feel it. Inosuke feels it too. Oh damn, the final form got cancelled or delayed. <laughs> he was close. Until I get back. Even in a moment like this, he remembers his friend. <laughs> Inosuke alone. I believe. I believe in Inosuke. And the power of a Gyu reinforcement. Yeah, my boy's just hanging on for non-spider life. Maybe Tundra will land in his vicinity and help. Could have done without those things, but okay. How does this get resolved? It's all looking so... So bleak. It's easy for you to say. Seems like he was gone for a minute there. Oh. What is this healing... healing pixie dust? Oh, it's like literally her. Is she a... no, she can't be a demon herself. It's some incredible power. Is this love? I forgot all about what's her name. Nice. I just realized that's goes on his back still. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and we just landed in the middle of another conflict? As if there wasn't enough going on. Oh, it's the kids. <laughs> Family, more like it. Not that that seems to hold any weight in the spider forest. Tundra went from fighting the Demon 7 to help one of them. <laughs> Let's take a moment to reflect on familial bonds. <laughs> the, the way he got so riled up and so into that. With all that's going on, it's it's beautiful. He's just so pure. Like In a moment where everything's going terribly wrong, he has the emotional space to stop and think about this poor... Demon girl in pain. This kid is, he's something else, honestly. He sees something he doesn't like in front of him and that's all consuming. There's not like one selfish or self-consumed bone in his body. I guess evil is evil wherever you see it. And goodness is goodness wherever you see it as well. 
Better to take note. And now we're fighting. Now we're fighting the demon slayers. Evil is evil I see it. And now he is gone. I'll miss him. How could you not after that development for this nameless, self-absorbed, bloodthirsty, social climbing grunt. They're forged. <laughs> it's whatever's in front of me. Whatever's right in front of my eyes is what I fight. <laughs> in this case, forging a bond with this tree right now. All those eyes. <laughs> there you go. Well, you wanted a fight, right, Inosuke? You wanted a challenge? Here it is. That's a great question. Eyes? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's not his normal approach. I mean, he did just just as good as that wave slash. <laughs> Tantaro. Yeah, no, this is growth, though. <laughs> oh, damn. He just doubled down on, on who he was, and it worked out. Brute force, but of course he can regenerate. Yeah, slash it with two swords. Brilliant. It's beautiful in its simplicity. Let's just take a little moment to taunt. Yeah, he, he runs. That's not what I expected. What? Change the tides dramatically? That random grunt's purpose in life was to demonstrate his eviscerating thread powers. Why is he so resistant to this idea of like bonds being forged? An interesting ideological battle has taken shape in Spider Forest. The whole thing speaks to their crew too, like Inusuke and Zenitsu. I like that phrasing. What doesn't hurt doesn't hurt. How can it hurt if it doesn't even hurt? <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again will I think. I feel like he's probably taking his second boss form. Yeah, I think we skipped second boss form and went, went right to final boss form. <laughs> Man, Agatha really came in so clutch. The sparks. How can you lose to something if you can't even lose? Can you sense it? There you go. Whoops. Speaking of having two swords, now you have cumulatively one sword, sort of. Probably due to his gigantic neck. I've lost my shoes for a lot less. Okay, dig deep. <laughs> Those trademark beautiful eyes. Forged bonds. You could have given him a head start by not tossing him off a cliff? So he literally just got dropped off in the woods? You definitely use some butterfly and gear reinforcement. Oh my god. There we go. Yes. What a good way to build the power. What a good way to build status of Gyu. We knew he was strong, but that just looks so effortless. Man, you know it's coming, but it doesn't make it any less satisfying. Such a great way of like immediately establishing Gyu's power, as well as the power of the Blood Moons for that matter. One thing I'm noticing about this episode is that it just feels so different. Like it feels so different having established a bond between Tanjiro and Inosuke. They're such different characters, but they're united in this sort of purity of spirit. And even though they're in different locations, you can sort of feel the other's presence in their respective fights, which is really cool. They're each thinking about each other and their bond is interesting in that it reflects not only on them as a duo, being able to observe each other's greatness but also obviously their own individual greatness because I feel like that is actually largely what caused the bond it's not like they've spent that much time together it's not like they've had these long deep talks it's just them sort of observing each other both of them shining in their own way and that sort of being the glue at least in large part no but you can just tell by his confident standing the way his back is turned wow he made that look easy <laughs> yeah that's a that's right that's correct looks totally unfazed 
It's a new level. Yeah, we've entered a new tier. He looks almost bored. <laughs> he just he doesn't have that baggage. I don't know. He's, he's different. He's just built different. Oh, what the heck? It broke his sword. What in the world? What in the world? That's the end of the episode? Damn. What kind of fun fact could possibly follow that episode up? You focus. His name mistakes are giving me life. What's his story? What's his deal? This guy's seen some stuff, obviously. Hit me with that secret Inosuke. There you go, he speaks. That was a hell of an episode. Definitely one of my favorites of the show so far. The action's been consistently great in the show. It's so beautifully done and animated and scored. But for me, this episode sort of has a different life. And I think that that, as I said, comes from the fact that we're no longer just on an individual journey or like a collection of individual journeys. This is like a shared moment. One of the things that I take most inspiration from in this show is the fact that it's a pretty dark world that they live in. Tanjiro's basically lived in hell for the last couple of years. But despite that, he's been able to build things of, of beauty. And so far, it's really been himself. Like he's just a beautiful person and every interaction he has with people along his journey is like an opportunity for him to shine sort of a light and it seems like it can't be extinguished even though it easily could be right like it's so easy to imagine him just crumpling under the pressure and losing sight losing focus giving up becoming cynical but he doesn't and now with this bond with Inosuke and I'm guessing later on adding Zenitsu to the, the group loving each other dynamic, we have something else beautiful building despite tragedy and darkness, which is their love for each other, like this really random duo or random trio. It's there. There's still beauty in there. I don't know. I don't take it for granted. Like, it's hard. There are just moments where it just doesn't seem like there's anything good. There are moments where just things look really bleak, but it can still be built. It can be forged, as Antro said. And unsurprisingly, probably coming from me, I think maybe one of the keys to that is something self-cultivated. Tanjiro is already sort of there in like a more realized way. Inosuke has like the raw ability, the raw personality, but just sort of has lived an unquestioning life and is now building it. And as strong as Tanjiro is, you just imagine they're going to be 10 times, 100 times stronger than either of them would be alone. And maybe you can continue to build from here. That'd be cool.